Let's take a look at some of the highlights because it was a ripper. Garth Tander, the pole man, got the start on the staggered F1 style starting grid. In fact, everyone got away quite cleanly and through this very tight opening turn, but there was mayhem. Bit of trouble here between Paul Morris and Brad Jones, which then involved nephew Andrew. Both cars damaged and out of the race. Here it is again. Paul received a drive through for that one in the Cirame entry. Heavy contact there between the Team VOC and the Tasman Motorsport entry. Unfortunate for both those guys. Flurry of activity. They extended the compulsory pit stop window, but Rick Kelly and his uh, teammate Garth Tanner both stalled on departure. That impacted the race. Speaking of impact, have a look at this one. Stephen Johnson involved with Jason Bargwana and Will Davison. Just as I left the IPO's office, I understood that Jason was going to be given the equivalent of a drive-through penalty as a result of that, and that'll affect his starting position for today's grid. Garth Tander caught some debris, and there was a small fire in his brake assembly unit, but he got away with that. That rectified itself. Jason Richards got a drive-through for turning Dean Canto around. Then watch what Dean Canto does to John Bow. Little flick, and around goes John. It's three laps later on lap 22, and then he in turn received a drive through for that one. That's the other angle of that. So Dino was in the wars yesterday. When you have a low grip circuit, these are the things that happen. But we had a tremendous high quality battle for the lead. A great stash between Jason Bright and Garth Tander. Garth was pretty filthy with himself for stalling the car on departure. But a nail biter all the way to the flag, falling in favour of Jason Bright by a tiny margin.